All right, the first thing I want to do is take my paint scraper and we're going to dig perpendicular to the trench. Just pull back some of that soil. Oh, I found my seed right there. So we're going to go about five inches ahead of that. So hopefully we can find the next seed. But digging perpendicular to the trench like this, I'm taking small slivers is going to show me how well we're closing that trench. And what I'm looking for is anywhere where I've got air pockets. If there's a little air pocket in there, that means we're not closing the trench. And I need to increase my down, my closing wheel pressure just a little bit. We should be getting close to that next seed. our next seed I'll move some of this soil away so it's easier to see so we've got pretty good trench closer <clears throat> we've got pretty good trench closure moist soil all the way around that seed and now for why I like two of these depth gauges uh, to check the depth of that seed some people will just say ah second enough is good enough uh, if I just put my gauge there it looks like it's about two inches deep but if you set one depth gauge across that top of the trench you use your other one that's about three inches now, I set a little bit deep because it's still early and close to the middle of April here. So I wanted to go three inches deep rather than the traditional two inches. Uh, so that way when we got overnight lows, uh, some cold weather comes in, I've got plenty of blanket that's going to keep that seed from chilling. Uh, so early planting, I like to go a little bit deeper. I know some people say shallower is the, the way to go so it gets out quicker. Uh, but I want to shield that seed from as much uh, cold shock as possible. 